Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. And today I'm going to be boxing another audio gear, a barrel of monkeys. Let's have a look. These are the Monkey Banana Gibbon Air 4-inch studio monitor speakers. I've been looking to get actually a, a second set of monitors. As you know, I do have the Aeros E8 as my main speakers that uh, I mix on and then I master on. But I thought I need an alternative one as well. So I've been looking around and I thought while these were on special from my favorite online music shop which is swamp.net.au they had them on special so I thought I'll grab a special see how good they are so in this video I'm gonna unpack it set it up and do a couple of tests and give my personal opinion of the quality of these monkey banana gibbon air 4 inch monitor see how we go Inside the package it does come with the mains power lead and some other leads. Of course one of the unit is the main powered one which has the amplifier built in and the other one is the passive one and it does require this wire, the speaker wire to be connected between the two, uh, the terminal connection so the left and the right have the signal then we have 3.5 stereo TRS jack to uh, two RCA's included in there as well as 3.5 TRS to 3.5 TRS so a stereo jack here as well in case you want to connect this uh, to um, the auxiliary input at the front to your I guess iPhone well iPhone 6 anyway anything else we like to connect it to I guess this can be connected to uh, the PC because that's what I'm going to be connecting it to this is going to be connected to my onboard sound card on my PC I mean the sound card on the PC for playback is you know perfectly fine may not be the, the best to record but for playback is fine one of the things I'm actually excited to try is the Bluetooth connection because a lot of the times I get you know, musicians come in, um, or vocalists would come in, and they have their music track or their idea or, you know, their favorite song, singers uh, or artist on their phone and, you know, try to find connections to connect to it and so you can actually listen to it rather than listening to it on the mobile phone so we can listen to it. So having the Bluetooth is really great and very um, versatile. That means they can just pair it and we can listen to it on nice four inch speakers so that's a really a plus for me so why four inches well because they were on special but other than that my Aeros E8s that I have and you can see there's two of them there they are eight inch speakers they probably sometimes I feel a little bit too big for my room this is about 20 square meters is what my room size is so sometimes I think they're a little bit too loud and whenever you turn it down they just don't have the grunt to drive the speakers because they're big speakers they designed to be driven a little bit more powerful 
So I thought I'll give it a try with four inches as well. And most of the time, four inch and five inch studio monitors are probably the perfect size for um, a bedroom studio because the small space, if you have your music loud, then your room will actually have some problems. You will have enhanced bass and you will have, you know, lots of audio room mode problems. So having the speakers at lower volume, that means less of the room you are hearing. That's one of the reasons why smaller speakers are probably more recommended. So we'll see how I go. It could be uh, that I'll be using this to edit my mixes and then just master it and compare between these ones and the Eris E8s. But before that, I want to plug it in and give it a try and see how it actually sounds. Now, according to the manual that comes in, I believe these are actually manufactured in Germany um, because everything refers to German. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you can always correct me. And uh, Gibbon Air, which is this one here that we have, the four inch um, uh, speakers. The frequency range is 60 to 22 kilohertz, which is not bad for its size, uh, if it goes down to 60 hertz. And then um, it does have uh, in EQ, a high frequency and low frequency EQ. The high one is at 10 kilohertz, plus or minus 6 dB. And the low one is at 100 hertz, plus or minus 6 dB. And the crossover is at 3 kilohertz, which is quite common. It's got 30 watts of power and signal ratio of 90 dB. Uh, at the back, it does have two RCA unbalanced input and it does have a sub out. So I guess it might have some low pass filter. So if you want to connect to with a subwoofer, you can take the signal out into your subwoofer so that you can get a lower frequency range than 60 Hertz. And uh, that's about it. It's got power connection and the terminal for the other passive speaker. Let's give it a try. Hang on, I forgot the front bit. <laughs> okay, so at the front we do have a volume control which is clicked and it looks like it uh, must be some sort of a digital connect because it just keeps going around and around and around and around. So I guess some sort of, um, not analog, but more like a digital or step volume, which is good. It's got a button called uh, source. I guess that allows you to select either the, the RCA connection at the back or the auxiliary in at the front or the Bluetooth. And this Bluetooth, I guess you press the button to pair it with your Bluetooth device. Auxiliary in, as I mentioned, and headphone out as well. And um, that's the front. Now we try it out. You can tell I'm not good at unboxing things. Well, here's going to be my audio test. Of course, I can't transfer the sound quality from here to the video camera's microphone into YouTube. But so this is all my personal view and how they actually sound. I'm just going to play a couple of the tracks uh, from Spotify, a couple of the tracks that I have recorded and mixed. And then I'm going to listen to a couple of other genres as well for a few seconds and see what they sound like. I mean, obviously, I did try them out and tested it. It's really great. The volume knob, you press it, the power comes on, and then you can keep turning it until you get the maximum volume, keep turning it until you get, you know, zero volume. And I think it's about two rotations to get to the maximum volume, to the minimum volume. So you can adjust it however you like. And just clicking on the source button, you select either the back or the front. And um, yeah, let's let's have a quick listen and see what actually uh, sounds like. This is sort of like a dance one. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Okay, those two tracks I heard are the ones that I've recently uh, arranged, recorded, mixed and mastered and now they're on Spotify. Uh, the first one was Set You Free and the second one My African Lady from Diamond J. Uh, you might have seen the interview in my studio as well. So um, it's really great. It sounds very nice. It is centered and it's not too wide even though the speakers are quite uh, far apart from each other. The, the low end is there obviously but not as punchy as obviously my main speakers but it's everything is there so it's nice and clear even though the EQ setting at the back of the speakers are on zero so I haven't added or subtracted anything. For the volume that I'm listening which is probably about no more than 65 maybe 70 db at max so it's the room shouldn't have much effect on there so let's have a listen uh, another genre of music Yeah, in both those tracks, I could hear the guitar nice and clear, and uh, in the vocals, very clear as well. Um, I think maybe a little bit too dull at the top end, but uh, I'll find out. Um, they sound a little bit too dull maybe because of the position it's in because at the moment they're flat they're not facing directly towards me but uh, I'll experiment with that but other than that you know I mean the uh, kick is definitely there I can hear it but obviously not as punchy but for a four inch I think it's really really great let's try a couple more tracks and see what I can get let's try a hip hop hip hop style music Yep, I can hear the kick there, but it's it's not a hip hop kick, <laughs> obviously. But to use this for editing purposes, I think it'll it just sounds really great. It's nice and clear, great for editing, and I'm pretty sure for small home studios in your bedroom, I would highly recommend this for the price. I think they're really really great. I mean, I was looking at the, the McKee range of speakers as well for this uh, size, 4 inches, but uh, they're about the same price as these ones. But I thought uh, I'll give this a try because they were on special, just over $300. So, you know, you, you can't beat that. Where the McKees were about $360 uh, for this size. Anyway, let's uh, see what else we can get. One more. <laughs> So, for conclusion, I think for the price, they're really great. Uh, you can't beat um, for it. So, if you want more details about it, you can obviously go to their website, which is monkey-banana.de Well, I hope this uh, unboxing and review was useful for you. If it was, give me the thumbs up. And if you want to find out anything else, you can always uh, comment below. That's where I hang out. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. You can subscribe because uh, most likely I'll be doing some more testing on these speakers about their frequency range and their quality as well. So that way, if you are subscribed and you click the bell, you'll be notified ASAP. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Gotta go on and listen to more tracks.